Kanu will not field any candidate in the Baringo South by election and has instead thrown its weight behind Jubilee nominee Charles Kamuren. And as Murimi Mwangi now reports, Kanu says it will now focus its energies on preparations for the 2022 polls. Former Baringo County Kenyan National Union of Teachers Secretary Charles Kamuren had been long predicted as a likely Kanu candidate in the Baringo South by-election occasioned by the death of area legislator Grace Kipchoim. <laughs> but that was until 3rd June when he defected to the ruling Jubilee Party, which would a week later pick him as their candidate after controversial nominations marred with chaos in parts of the constituency. And now, Kamuren's departure and subsequent nomination in Jubilee has occasioned some decisions in the Independence Party Kanu. We wish to announce that Kanu will not field a candidate in the upcoming by-election for Baringo South constituency. Charles Kamuren is the Kanu candidate in Jubilee. Just like many, many others both elected or nominated politicians who are Kanu allies in Jubilee. The priority of that constituency is not battle. It is not political battle. We request the government to, to, to attend to the problems that constituency is facing more seriously. Kamuren has contested twice under Kanu for the Baringo South parliamentary seat, losing in both occasions to the late Kipchoim, the latest being in 2017 when Kipchoim, who was admitted in hospital, beat Kamuren by a margin of 394 votes. But the decision to back off the by-election, Kanu says, has also been influenced by recent national developments. Kanu is presently engaging other stakeholders to unite the country and push for fundamental electoral reforms which President Uhuru Kenyatta has committed himself to following the historic handshake. And we believe Baringo will be united and we shall forge ahead and our presidential candidate will make it in the, the year 2022. But even with Kamuren seemingly headed to victory in the by-election, Kanu says it's heading back to the drawing board to lay strategies ahead of the 2022 polls, hinting to the likelihood of a future face-off between Deputy President William Ruto, who harbors 2022 presidential ambitions, and Kanu Chiaman and Baringo Senator Gideon Moy, whom analysts argue could be positioning himself as a top contender for the seat. Murebi Mwagikitia News, Nairobi.